What up? It's your boy Sean, and welcome to episode 4 of Why I Love Wayne. The show where I go through my favorite series or franchise, talk a little bit about the history, and then show off all the media I have for it. And today's episode is, uh, honestly, one of my favorite movie franchises of all time is Cars. Don't get me wrong. I love a good Pixar movie as much as the next guy. And this may not be a lot of people's favorite movies, but it is one of my favorite franchises. With this being one of my favorite movies of all time. So I'm excited to go into this. So first, a little history. Cars was created... Well, it's a Pixar movie. I can't say it actually created it, but I can tell the director was John Lasseter. He makes good movies. Me like... Toy Story, Monsters, Inc., Finding Nemo, The Incredibles, and a, and a few other Pixar movies I can't, or I don't have, I can't think of the top of my head. Uh, it's all about Lightning McQueen, a young hotshot rookie who winds up in the middle of Route 66 on his way to the big race. While there, he's learned to uh, learns to be mellower, and you know, the whole plot of the movie is about life's about the journey, not the destination. And at the end of the movie, he shows his uh, shows his compassion during the big race. He ultimately makes it to the big race. Finds out that his that one of the uh, people of Radio Springs was a was a famous race car. At the end of the movie, uh, Doc Hudson comes out with almost everyone from Radiator Springs uh, to Lightning's big race for the Dynaco Cup. Lightning McQueen ends up getting, ends up giving up the cup to help a fellow racer named The King uh, finish the last race. And that's basically the plot of the movie. And it's funny people think, I know people don't like the second Cars movie. I personally like it because, I mean, Mater's one of my favorite characters of all time. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> I love that. Uh, yeah. So if I remember correctly, Cars 2, I haven't seen Cars 3 though, that's like my only exception to the Cars movies. Uh, Cars 2. Is about Lightning McQueen going to race in the uh, in an international cup while Mater gets pulled into the uncovered spy world. And so chaos ensues. I th- chaos ensues. I think there's there's a Queen of England car. I'm gonna be honest. It's been a long time since I've seen the second movie. That's all I remember from it. Uh, but anyway, with that little history on the way, let's get into the media. Now, I think it's fair. I say, let's, let's save my Cars collection for the end. I want to show you all the crazy clips. So we got Cars 2 on the Xbox 360. Who, this game, if I had not seen it in a caddy video, I wouldn't have gotten it. I, this is a good game. I, like, I don't care what you think about the movie, what you think about Cars 2, the game is pretty good. More specifically, I'll give you a sec, on the DS. This was a very fun game, and I've played this game and beaten it many times to the point where I lost my cartridge and I had to go to Amazon. A seller on Amazon and buy uh, and buy the cartridge. That's how much I love this game. I love good racing games. I've always been a fan of like Mario Kart. And this doesn't have the whack out crazy as Mario Kart, but it's still a good game. Feels like I'm playing NASCAR, if that makes sense. 
I know there's a DS version and a Wii version and a PS3 version. All things I have. Maybe there's not a PS3 version. Maybe it's PS2. Anyway. This is the one I found right now. This is Cars Made International. <sighs> this is the last video I'm recording tonight. I haven't played this in a while. I remember it's a racing game. You gotta go through levels. That's literally all I remember from that from that game. Excuse me. Let's go to the movie. I'm really saving those for last. I gotta show you all that. So this is the Cardus movie. Like, I can watch this movie hundreds of times over, and I will never in my life get sick of it. I may pause it, and I may turn it off to, you know, I'm not getting sick of it. I just like to, you know, watch it later. Or watch this part later. I've been doing that for movies lately. All right. Let's start with the GameCube. Now, this was literally one of the first GameCube games I ever got. I can safely say, I finished at least one of the card game on a different system. This was game I beat in the GameCube version, and I should say I beat the DS version. Uh, this is a fun game. I love driving through town, listening to the country music. It might be because I'm from the south and we love country music. And it's something I've grown accustomed to. But this was a good game. There's a bit of rock music in there too. My brother-in-law gave me this game. And I was looking for it for a while because I'm trying to collect every cars game I can. For all the systems I have. I have. Uh, so there's no PS3 version of this game. Oh. That one. Uh, this is the one I was talking about with the touch screen. If you saw in one of my other videos, I can't remember which one at this point. Uh, I was talking about how the touch screen is a bit wonky. And it is. But overall, all in all. I love cars. So I'm bound to love the games, and I do. Here's the final one. This is one of the first Game Boy Advance games I ever got. Uh, I was looking for something else. Uh, cars, the game? Pretty good. It may have low views on Metacritic, but it's still a very good game. Hello, Masaibi. Uh, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, as you can see, I got it. I'm going to hang out with my cat. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye!